So theme variant in Kiklokify is a feature that enables you to create variation of the same theme. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, here I'm going to connect to the admin console. Admin, admin, all right. I'm going to go to my test realm client, my client here, and you can see in the logging theme, I have uh, my app one and my app two. Um, this is because I've provided my app one and my app, my app two as theme name. And what it does, what it enables, enables me to do is, for example, here I have the theme one selected. And if I go and select my app two, and reload the page, I can see that it has changed the logo and changed the background. So it's interesting if uh, you have to create different theme that are mostly the same, but for some reason you want to load one variation on some client and one variation on another client, it's very convenient uh, not to have to create a whole new uh, theme for that. So, um, how does it work? Let me, uh, to demonstrate that, uh, start over and uh, remove the changes that I've made. And I'm going to guide you through uh, how it's implemented. So, I'm going to start mostly from scratch here. I'm going to remove the changes. KC page, use global CSS. I'm going to remove this and this as well. And um, so here we are with a vanilla project. Um, uh, it's the starter. No, I have to remove uh, this maybe. I'm just going to comment it for the time being. And uh, I'm going to maybe eject npx clockify uh, add story and I'm going to add story for the logging page. All right. And add a story for uh, the register page. All right. I'm going to start storybook. Okay. So let's see how uh, I can start and create a variation from here. So the option is uh, basically, usually you, you'll provide, you'd provide a, a name here. Uh, and this is what would appear uh, in the select uh, when you go in the clock uh, admin console. But if you provide an array, um, you will be able to select between those two um, theme and uh, how it materialized is that um, if you go in KC page here, you can see that the KC context um, theme name, you can see that you have uh, my app one or my app two and based on this, you'll be able to load a uh, different CSS or uh, apply uh, different uh, transformation to your components. So basically from here, you're free to implement it however you want. But uh, to help you get started, I'm going to suggest a way that you can uh, leverage this feature when you use vanilla CSS to theme your pages. So the strategy I recommend here is uh, to have a custom hook uh, function use a global or mm, use custom CSS and it's going to take uh, the KC context and um, we're going to 
do a use memo here. Um, use memo is just so we do this as soon as possible and only once. And here we can do a switch, switch statement on the KC context theme name and um, load different um, CSS style sheet uh, depending on uh, what um, uh, variation of the theme is enabled. So to load a, a style sheet, we can just do import. And uh, here we have to create the style sheet. Um, so let's create them. So um, I'm going to just restore the change that I've del deleted because I don't want to recreate everything from scratch. So here you see I create a main common .css, uh that will apply uh, on every variant. So for example, here I import the my custom font, uh, which is Gaist that I have here in assets. And I apply to everything. So I Gaist as the, the default font. All right. And after um, here, I will hide the my realm that is uh, usually displayed to replace it with an image. And I will have uh, main one and main two. And here uh, is where I'm going to be implementing the variation that I have uh, based on the on what variant is enabled. So in main one, for example, I, I import main common dot CSS. And uh, as background image, I'm going to use background one. And uh, as a KC header uh, wrapper class, I'm going to use uh, logo one. And here, for example, in the border, I'm going to set black. And um, for the second variant, I'm going to change the assets that I load. And here in KC page, uh, what I'm going to do is if it's my app one, I'm going to import um, main one.css break. And if it's my app two, I'm going to import main two.css. All right. And here I'm going to use this hook, use custom CSS, KC context. All right. Okay, so we can see that uh, our, our um, changes um, have been applied here, but how to test the variant? Um, because here I don't, every story is using the first variant. Easy, so I just need to go in the story that I've just ejected and instead of uh, default here, I can, uh, yes, with a single R, and here I'm going to set KC context and uh, I'm going to use a theme name. And here I'm going to set to uh, my app 2. OK. And here now I will be able to test the different theme based on the variant that is enabled. And I can do, uh, I can do it uh, everywhere. Like if I want this to be uh, by default with uh, my app two uh, with invalid credential or right. And if I set one, I think you get the idea. Um, and we can do the same for register here. So default, all right. And variant, okay. Okay, see context theme name, my app to all right. And here in the register register, uh, I have the variant that I can, that I can preview very easily. Mm, all right. But now what if, uh, I need to apply uh, custom CSS to a specific page, um, and not to every page, um, for this, it's quite easy. I'm gonna, restore the file that I created earlier. 
and um, you can see here I do the same thing basically. So in the page directory, create a register common, um, or I put all the still styles that apply to every variant of the register page. And after I can have some different styles specific to uh, the variant uh, on the register page. And very easily, I will be able to uh, add another switch here, switch uh, case context uh, page ID, uh, case uh, register. And here I can import um, pages, uh, register one, that's CSS break. And here it's a bit gimmicky because it's a switch statement, but with only one switch. But um, later on, we might want to add uh, some custom style for other page. So it's good practice to have a switch here. So uh, I'm gonna do the same when it's uh, the second variant. I'm gonna put register two, all right. And now if I reload, I can see that it has applied the blurry background and um, I have applied a different still for the back to login uh, compared to the, the first variant. All right. And uh, well, now you're done basically, you can uh, you can, if you want to test in, in Keyclock, you can do npm keyclockify start uh, Keyclock. All right, select the version of Keyclock you want to test with. And by default, um, the Realm will be configured to load the first variant that you listed and if you want to test the other one, you have to connect to the admin console and uh, select it. Uh, all right, it built the theme, spin up key clock. So here we can see the first one is applied. And if I go to the admin console, admin, admin, all right, I select my realm. Uh, so be careful, if you go in here in theme uh, and you change it here, uh, it won't work because in the configuration that, that I've applied to this demo realm, uh, I've set uh, manually the theme here uh, at the client level. So you want it to change it at the client level because as it's more specific, this is the rules that will uh, take uh, precedence. So here, my app two, and I can uh, reload and see the variation. Um, so that's it. So keep in mind, the guest of it is uh, the uh, page, uh, the theme name. After that, it's only a matter of taste and it's only me making a suggestion on how you would go to leverage this. But for example, if you use MUI, you would have different provider that provide different theme. If you use uh, CSS in JS, you can have conditional uh, rules uh, that use directly this uh, theme name. So feel free to get creative really. Um, and don't take uh, this guide as uh, the way to uh, go about implementing theme variant. All right, I think that's it.